Rob's World. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rob, and welcome to my tutorial for the... Lila, come here. Rubber Ball Popper! Ah! Ah! The Rubber Ball Popper is really fun to either set off, launch things, or even scare people sometimes, though you have to be careful because it can pop up suddenly. You need to wear glasses or goggles when you're using it. You'll also have to use a knife to cut the ball in half and a scissors in order to modify it, so be sure to ask your mom and dad if you're not old enough to help you out. I'm going to be using handballs to make the rubber ball popper, however you can use tennis balls or other types of rubber balls. I would recommend using a used ball and if you have more than one it's good because something like this can happen if you're not careful and then it goes to waste basically. Once you have the rubber ball, the scissors, and the knife, as well as the glasses, you're ready to go. Alright guys, so let's get started. You're not going to need the scissors right now, so let's put those aside. I'm going to recommend that you use a serrated knife just like this that doesn't have a sharp end. And the reason is, not only is it safer, but if you do use a knife like this, which has a very sharp blade, and you try to cut the ball, what will happen is, it actually doesn't cut it very well, and will actually cause it to rip. Okay, so you want to use a serrated knife just like this. If you take a close look at the ball, you'll notice that it actually has a line that divides the ball all the way in half. Okay, and we're going to be cutting along this line. Now I know you guys can see it, but I'm going to actually draw on the line with a pen so that it's easier for me to see and for you to see as well. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to take the knife, and also, what you want to do um, is just be careful. It's going to make a mess. It's going to be a lot of powder and stuff, so if you do not want to do it and make a mess inside the house, you can do it outside, or you can put something down. Um, I wouldn't use a piece of paper because it's going to move all over. It's actually going to make it more dangerous, but just put something down so that it won't make a big mess. Okay, then I'm going to set the ball down. And holding it steady, I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to set it right on that line. And I'm basically just going to saw the ball in half. Now what you can do is, once you've kind of gotten a little bit deep inside, that, um, inside the ball, we can rotate the ball a little bit. And there we go, I actually got inside of it. Okay, so then I'm just going to keep on cutting along the line. Okay, let's rotate it again. Gets a little bit harder to cut once you've kind of cut it open a little bit, so just be careful. There goes the desk. Okay, so now that you have the ball cut in half, this is why you don't want to do it on your desk. That was kind of silly. Anyway, now that I have the ball cut in half, I'm going to go rinse it off. Okay, so as you'll see, I didn't do a very good job of cutting it in half. And you'll notice that it is very difficult to cut the ball exactly in half, even if you draw that line. So don't worry about it. Um, if you take a close look, this one actually has a tear here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to try to cut that tear out so that when I flip it inside out, it doesn't rip it. Okay, and just to double check what you're going to do is just pull on it like this all the way around to make sure that there aren't any tears. And it doesn't look like there's any more. That might become one though. Okay, let me just cut it a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's not bad. So it's actually holding its form. But what you'll notice is that when you turn it inside out, it immediately pops out. What I'm going to try to do 
to see if it, I can make this work is turn it inside out and I'm going to basically squeeze it like this. I'm going to turn it this way, then this way, then this way, and then I'm going to set it down and just watch your head when you put this down because it's going to pop up. Okay, so this one is really no good to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the other half. And you'll see on the inside, it's a lot easier to see that midway point. So I'm going to basically cut around that line and remove the excess rubber. And you wanna remove the rubber a little bit to the left of that line so that it's a little bit less than half of the ball. All right, so there we go. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna check to make sure that when I pull on it, there's no rips that's gonna tear the whole thing in half. All right, it looks pretty good, so let's try this one. Okay, not bad, so it didn't go off. So what I'm going to do is to put my hand over it and just push, okay? And that will set it off without it being dangerous. So, what I'm gonna do is you can do one of two things. You can turn it inside out and just leave it like that. And you can actually let it sit for hours or even overnight to see if it will eventually go off. You can also try to bend it this way. You can then gently flip it inside out and then set it down on the table. Okay, so that thing won't go off out of nowhere. It's not gonna go off in like two seconds like the other one did. So, I'm actually going to remove a little bit more rubber. And if you'll hold it like this, look for areas that are a little bit excess, like right around here, there's a little bit of excess that I can remove. Just a very small amount should do. Now I'm gonna try it again. All right, there we go. So that's good. So it went off a little too quickly, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push right in the middle while pulling on the ends to flip it inside out. And I'm actually going to press like this and pull these two edges together while it's turned inside out. And that will actually make it take a little bit longer to go off. So just go like this back and forth and you can actually take it between your two fingers and rub it like that then set it down and you'll notice it won't go off as fast. Even though it just went off in a few seconds, it might take over a couple minutes to go off now and you can time it. So, I'm actually just gonna not bend it so much, gently turn it inside out. All right, that wasn't bad. That was about 15 to 20 seconds, and that's acceptable. I like that. I don't want it to go off in about two seconds, which uh, happens with some of the other ones that I have. So I'm gonna try it again. Just very, this time I'm gonna actually squeeze it this way, which is supposed to make it go off faster. Turn it inside out very gently until it's just inside out. Set it down. There we go, that was about what, two, three seconds? That's not bad. So you can make it go off faster by squeezing it like this while it's not inside out, like that, or you can make it go off much slower by turning it inside out and then squeezing it like this in between your fingers. And that will make it take a lot longer, okay, as you'll see. And then if you wanna stop it, just put your hand over it and push, okay? And there you go. That's how to do the rubber ball popper. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching my tutorial for the rubber ball popper. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot of fun with these things and I think you will too. Practice squeezing it this way to make it go faster or squeezing it inside out like that to make it go slower and trying to find a balance so that you can know, you know how, how hard to push it so that you can make it go off in a certain time. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or a like down below. And there's a subscribe button down there that's red if you're not subscribed and silver if you are. And if you are, you're the bomb. Leela thinks you should subscribe. She does.
She just wants me to leave her alone. Just real quick, don't forget you can also launch it off your thumb and you can also turn it inside out like this. Put something in here like a little ball of clay and then let it flick out just like I did in the beginning. Again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.